Thompson. I'd like you to welcome you. We were uh, buddies in the Peace Corps in Kenya. And, uh, so, I uh, can't believe that I'm going to do this. This is my new novel. Brad the other night was reading and um, we, we uh, you know, we all were there, so, um, but, you know, we, we started talking about how to begin and uh, you guys really haven't had much chance to see how I begin and how it kind of rough and long and off it can be, so I thought I'd be rough and long and off for you guys tonight. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Is that better? Yes. Everything I just said, did you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So it, the, na the name of the novel is Le, Le, Le Mal d'Afrique, which um, is French. And it pretty much means that after Africa, you'll never be the same. The way I was unnerved at times so dislocated, so overwhelmingly, my body could not contain it. Lush, extravagant, unbridled, wild with a rhythm. But not at first. At first I felt no rhythm. At first my new world was only loud, bright, full, fast, and hot. Instant squalls, a sudden dark shadow over the sun, and in a moment, warm rain that soaks you to your skin. And when the squall passed, this water on your lip, is it rain or is it sweat? Run your tongue across your lip and what you taste is Africa. Afurahika, outside is inside. The land, dirt, dust, mud, wind, rain, trees, grass, rocks, hills. Just like home, but different. Why a handful of Kenyan dirt was so different from a handful of Idaho dirt, I couldn't tell you. And it drove me nuts. The way this new land was shaped was shaped just like my homeland, yet completely different. As if another world, the way and the way you see a thing. And time, how it bent itself into the day how slowly, how woefully I made my body move through it. Sometimes it felt I was the only one moving. In the nights, everything the day was not. Moments so full of quiet, full of empty darkness. The way night made my impatient body wait, unnerved, dislocated, overwhelmed. My first real hot bath in a real bathtub. When I pulled the plug on the drain, what I noticed first was the sound. The water flowing down the drain, something about the sound. I sat up, and I woke, when I looked down, my hairy white legs, there was something astounding at the end of the tub. Between my two big toes, there was a hole in the water. The water did not swirl from left to right, but poured an equal downpour from all points. And the people, not at all like home. Day to night, black to white, hardly resemblance. Home, North America, Idaho. 1969, the day I left my Idaho home, 23 years old, I had a body but didn't have a clue how to claim it. Not me there yet. No me there yet. Only a possibility of disclosure. It's only now that I look back on it how profound the first chance I got, as soon as I could leave him, 3,000 miles away across the world below the equator in the tropics, I went directly to the land of my father's deepest fear to capture some new way, a space of possibilities opening up, a way of inhabiting the world opening up. Africa, Afurahita, Malda Afrique, white boy. Sick of, sick from, sick over, sick about, sick on, sick by, sick because of, homesick, sick for far away. 
haunted, afflicted, disordered, interrupted, beloved, bewildered, Apurahika, lovesick, Marawashi Ranch, Masailand, the Rift Valley, where I first set up my tent at the base of Kilimanjaro, the same valley that in 1974 the skeletal remains of Lucy were found, who lived 3.5 million years ago, the black-skinned mother of us all. The way I was in nerve, at times so dislocated, so overwhelmingly my body could not contain it. But at 23, how could my body know the threshold I was on? What space of possibilities I was to capture? At 23, I only knew Vietnam was out of the question. Hell, boot camp was out of the question. I knew I wanted to get away from him, his hatred from Idaho, and John Fitzgerald Kennedy was my hero. Peace Corps Kenya, the adventure I understood, but I had no idea of the threshold how things would show themselves when the conditions of skill and all the relation between them became possible. And afterward, my body, during, after the experience of Africa, during, there was something in me that opened up, a way of inhabiting the world that opened up, an extravagance, a rhythm, an enchantment, of the body, my soul's body, that perhaps I can begin to describe, but a mystery I'll never be able to explain. Destiny, fate, fortune, chance, whatever it is. How I was set down astonished into a new land on the other side of the world is something else I'll never understand. A working class farm boy conceived from the loins of fresh conceived, conceived from the loins of racial hatred the possibility of Kenya, living there for two years, speaking its language, what I captured, what opened up in me, what I came to embody is another mystery. As they say in Kenya, Shauri and Mubutu, it's God's concern. Africa, Africa, Afurahika. For me, started out with a Hereford heifer named Beatrice and ended up next to a Southern Baptist minister. My big body sunk into my soul, as it possessed Kugawa and Kuba, the way I was weeping, loud snorts, wails, and sobs, the airplane seat so small. The minister's eyes were black and kind, his face so smooth around, his hand so smooth around my wrist. My son, the old man said, is there anything I can do for you? Within his eyes, the deep-set eyes of the Western Christ, the Bible he held in his hand, redemption, I knew in an instant, for me, it was my heart. 